Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your monthly messages from Spirit for November 2019. I want to wish all of you a happy birthday. This is your season, Scorpio. So I'm using messages from Spirit along with Keepers of the Light Oracle. I will be using the Energy Oracle and I will be clarifying each one of these cards with the Llewellyn Tarot. Now at the end of your reading, Scorpio, I will be pulling a postcard from Spirit for you. Alright, so we have Reach Out coming up here. Very powerful message. Thank you, Spirit. Alright, what extra messages do you have for Scorpio? Thank you, Spirit. And please keep in mind, this is an intuitive read. And with each energy oracle, there is a completely different message here. So all these messages are going to be different for each of you. So please stay until the end. All right. Thank you, Spirit. So we have Krishna devotion coming up here. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? This is their season, their birthday. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The Garden and the Gate. First Chakra, Archangel Michael. Beautiful. Door to Spirit. Amazing energy right there. Thank you, Spirit. Door to Romance. All right. Blossoming Abundance. Beautiful. Goddess of the Moon. Love it. Okay. Powerful energy I'm feeling right now. Beautiful messages here. All right, Spirit. Give me just a moment, Scorpio. All right, I'm feeling a lot of passion. you really being creative in the month of November. Let's start here. We have reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it is truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. This is an amazing energy. Spirit, your spirit guides, your angels, they're here. They're wanting to help you. They're wanting you to communicate with them. They want you to know that you've been heard. Uh, it's almost the energy that your prayers are being answered at this time. And it may be uh, how you're, what you're expecting, okay, as an outcome may be completely unexpected. Uh, maybe where this uh, prayer, what you've been asking for, how this is going to be resolved. Um, I feel like it's going to be a total surprise about who the bringer of this is going to be. That's what I'm getting from spirit. Be open to receive as well, Scorpio. Now you have Krishna, devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. This is just further confirmation here. And you know, you have door to spirit coming up here as well. And you know, this talks about how aware and awake you are at this time. This is you understanding the divine that's running within you and through you. But spirit is saying that it's time to take action in a certain area in your life. It's time to maybe see what's on the other side of this gate, okay? Um, and oftentimes, we can allow doubt or fear to keep us from taking a leap of faith, maybe walking through a door or walking down a path because there's a bit of uncertainty. And Spirit wants you to believe in yourself at this time. Now, the garden and the gate... If you'll notice, she's she's looking. It's kind of like 
you know, should I do, should I walk through that garden? Should, should I walk through that gate and go to the other side and see what's there? Or should I stay right here where I'm comfortable? I really feel like this is asking you, you know, are, have you been in a situation, Scorpio, where nothing's changing, nothing's moving forward? And I feel like this is a situation that's kind of um, keeping you uh, stuck, limited. It's because there's a need for you to take action. You know, we are manifestors and co-creators of our reality. And unless we choose to move forward or take action on a situation or what we're dealing with, then it's very probable it's not going to change, okay? Because we are in control. You know, I feel for some of you, you've been holding yourself back, limiting and restricting yourself. I feel like it's time for you to take that leap of faith. You know, walk through that gate. See what's on the other side. Yes, there could be some fear. This could be you doing something for the first time. Um, and you don't know what the end result is going to be, but you will never know unless you do it, right? All right, let's clarify. Thank you, Spirit. What is this garden in the gate for Scorpio? There's something amazing on that other side is what I'm getting from Spirit, Scorpio. Eight of Wands. Justice, Queen of Swords, yes, okay, all right, okay, the Eight of Wands is one of the cards clarifying this energy, the garden and the gate, this tells me that you've, you have many options available to you, you have opportunities that are coming in very quickly, and you know, for some of you, this is career related and this is romantic, okay, um, for some of you, there's a need for a heart chakra healing. I feel like you've been wounded in the past when it comes to a relationship. And you're scared to love again. And Spirit says it's time it's time to, to heal that old wound. Okay? And it, it's time for you to, you know, we all deserve love. Okay? You deserve love, Scorpio. And if you've been hurt and wounded in the past, not everybody is going to hurt you. And I know it could be hard to move forward, but there's somebody that is on the other side of this gate waiting for you that's meant to be a part of your life at this time. And it's very, very positive. Now, for those of you uh, that this has to do with uh, job opportunities, career opportunities, maybe starting a new business, maybe going back to school, don't be afraid. Because this is something that you have a lot of passion about. But I feel like you're letting fear or doubt hold you back. And it's time to take action. For some of you, this requires moving or relocating. And that could be a bit scary. But spirit is with you. Your angels are with you. You have justice. You have Lady Justice coming in here. The energy of Libra. This is you having the clarity to move forward. This is you, you know, where I, I feel like karmic, karmic justice is here for you, Scorpio, in your favor, where this, the scales are going to be balanced, okay, in your favor in moving forward. Spirit is asking you right now, do you want to live in fear and doubt and stay where you're at? It may be comfortable but it's not really where you want to be, what your heart's true desire is. Then you have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. You know, this is that queen, whether you're male or female, that's been hurt. She knows what pain is. This is that no-nonsense type of energy. She's holding that sword so close because she's ready to attack. Because she's, she's been hurt. Spirit wants you to heal. 
whatever heartbreak you've been through because something very positive is waiting for you, Scorpio. For others of you, this is the energy to take charge, okay? Cut through that fear. Cut through that doubt. Take a leap of faith. Go after that new career. We're not meant to know the outcome of everything. We're not meant to know every step of the way. If we did, we would never learn anything. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. All right. So we have first chakra, Archangel Michael coming through here. Okay? Powerful energy. I feel that your base, your root chakra is uh, flowing freely. I feel for many of you, there, this, there is no blockage here. Now, for some of you where you may be feeling... Uh, you know, your base and your root chakra is what grounds you, okay? It's your root chakra here. This talks about you feeling secure and stable in your own skin. Uh, you have that stability and security. It's that energy of knowing that everything is going to be okay. Now, if you're feeling unstable here, you can always call upon Archangel Michael, and Archangel Michael will help you and clear out and... Uh, clear any blockages that you may have with your root chakra okay but i feel for the majority of you this this is an energy of feeling stable and secure uh that you know when it's uh, that red energy which i'm getting passion and desire i feel like it is time to like lay a solid foundation it's time to move forward it's time to take action all right spirit first chakra archangel michael Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Archangel Michael. Yes, we have the star. We have the universe. I love it. And we have the four of wands. Yes, laying that solid foundation here. Okay, the star. This is the energy of Aquarius. Spirit says... What your dream, what your wish is, is it within arm's reach. It's time to take action on it. You're rooted, okay? You're grounded. As long as you listen to your intuition and your inner guidance, you're not going to go wrong here, okay? For many of you, this is talking about you going within and meditating, pausing and reflecting as well. Again, this is a healing energy. You know, some of you may be uh, going to Reiki. You may be healing your chakra points here. The universe. Amazing. Spirit says that there's a new beginning on the horizon for you. A new chapter in your book of life. This talks about you completing a cycle. Whether it was positive whether it, there was challenges or obstacles, but you being able to successfully close out this chapter and take that knowledge and wisdom with you into this new adventure, this new beginning here. Four of Wands. This is laying that solid foundation. This is stability and security within your home. What makes you feel secure in your own skin For some of you, you could be working towards building a home, maybe purchasing a home for the first time as well. This talks about your happiness, your peace, your joy, your harmony within your heart and soul. Some of you are laying a solid foundation that has to do with uh, committing to a relationship, maybe getting married. This could be small celebrations and family get-togethers as well. It's one of the happiest energies in the whole tarot. Thank you, Spirit. Now you have this beautiful energy door to Spirit here. I love this. You see all those, those orbs and those lights? Imagine yourself, Scorpio, standing right here in this doorway. Imagine yourself there. This is all your angels and your Spirit guides that are surrounding you at all times. This is you walking through the door to spirit, 
aware and awake and prepared, understanding that you are so gifted, you are so unique, vibrating on a, a higher level here. I'm just getting an energy of leveling up, Scorpio. Amazing. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you are, you know, taking classes. You're gaining knowledge. You're getting organized. Your mentors, your teachers, your spiritual teachers, your light workers. Um, you're not only leveling up yourself. You are helping others with the ascension as well. Thank you so much, Spirit. Nine of Wands. Love it. Eight of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Yes. The Nine of Wands, this is you having the spirit of perseverance flowing within you and through you. This is you, you know, you could have been wounded, you could have been hurt, it could have taken years to collect all of these wands, all of these experiences. And this is you moving on to the next level. Because you're courageous and you have a great deal of inner strength within you. What you have achieved... How far you've come has not gone unnoticed. This is allowing for you with this Eight of Cups to move forward. You're going after that Ninth Cup, which is going to bring you emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. You're on a spiritual journey. Four of Pentacles, another four. Um, after you get done watching this reading, go look up angel number meaning 44. Amazing, amazing message for you. This is you laying that solid foundation, whether it's in your spiritual, um, whether it's you walking through this door to spirit, okay, in your spirituality, whether this is in your stability and your security, your finances, you having control over your life. This is you feeling secure, independent, not wanting for anything because you have that spiritual fulfillment within your heart and soul. This is you knowing and understanding all your needs will be cared for and taken care of because you believe. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you. All right. Woo! <laughs> Love it. All right. So we have the door to romance coming up here. Number 33, master number. Now, for those of you that are open to a new romance, maybe a past life a connection is coming back. A soulmate connection. It's here for you if you're open and you're ready for it, if this is something you want. I'm also getting from this. This doesn't have to necessarily be a romance that's coming in. This could be, a, um, this could be, you know, you having that passion coming back into what you already have, maybe with a significant other, your partner. That romance being ignited, that passion being reignited for each other. For some of you, you know, this is somebody coming into your life. It may not be romantic. It could be a friend. I'm getting, uh, you know, I'm getting this soul connection energy here. I feel somebody from a past life is coming and making an appearance for the first time here in this lifetime. And they're meant to be a part of your life, whether it's romantic or not. That's what I'm getting. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Door to Romance, Spirit, Scorpio. The Magician. I love it. Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. Yes, here it comes. For many of you with the Magician coming up here, Gemini and Virgo energy, this is what you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting this new love, this passion. Okay? This is you understanding you are a co-creator of your reality. This is you communicating your desires and getting what you want. The Ace of Pentacles. This is that energy of reward for effort here. What you've been manifesting. Okay. The seeds you've planted here. You've nurtured. 
for many of you, it's going to start. It's going to start manifesting into your reality within the month of November. This could be that new love. This could be an abundance of something that you've been putting a lot of time, a lot of effort towards. And then here it comes with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is your energy right here. Someone coming in here to offer you this cup of love. Or you're offering someone your cup of love. And this is divinely guided right here. Whoever this is that's coming in. You, you know, you're going to know it. You're going to, when you first lay eyes on them. You first meet them, you're going to know that's the one. That's the bond and connection that is so strong that you have. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. You have blossoming abundance. And I love this. And you know what's amazing as well? You have the number 33, and the next card next to it is 3. 333. Three, three. Go look that up, you guys. Amazing, amazing messages there for you. Blossoming abundance. Like I said, the number three. Number threes represent the time, the effort, the hard work you put into growing a seed, nurturing it. And now there's a harvest coming. There's growth and expansion coming from that hard work. Okay? Now, this could be an abundance of love that's coming in that you put out. This could be an abundance of money. It's going to be different because there are so many of you watching. But there's a reward here. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. What is this blossoming abundance? This could be a business. This could be more contracts. This could be more people coming into your life. I love it. The priestess. Yes. The ten of swords. Yes. And we have justice again. Lady justice again. All right. The priestess. This is you. Many of you are clairvoyant. Like I said, you're psychic. You understand that psychic energy that's flowing within you and through you. This is you really tuning in to your, your intuition, your own inner guidance, and having a deeper understanding of the wisdom that you hold within yourself. This is you going within, understanding that all the answers you're looking for lie within you, Scorpio, and this is you tapping into that. Ten of Swords. Whatever is coming in here that you've been putting your heart and soul in, it's going to end a cycle. That was very challenging, I feel, and painful for you. There's been some type of enlightenment that's been gained here. And you're going to be able to let it go. And then what happens is you have clarity. You have Lady Justice coming here. The scales are balanced. For some of you, you've been waiting on a legal situation. You've been waiting on an inheritance. A lawsuit. And it's coming. There's clarity here. There's compromises being made. There's contracts being signed. There's agreements. Thank you, Spirit. Now we have Goddess of the Moon. And this is just an amazing energy right here. Amazing. Uh, this is really you going within. Um, you know, really tapping into that psychic energy. Some of you may be doing uh, some type of moon magic, you know, working with the moon cycles. This could be the time that you're manifesting and you're co-creating with spirit. There's a blessing coming here. I can feel it for you. Your devotion to what you have passion about, what your heart's true desire is, is fixing to come to fruition for you, what you've been wanting. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, my goodness. Six of Wands. Yes. Thank you so much, Spirit. Four of Wands again. And we have the Two of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Oh, I love it. 
Here you go. Victory, success, achievement, recognition, reward for effort. Spirit says don't stop here, Scorpio. This is only at six. So there's more of this achievement and accomplishment and set, uh, success to, to come your way, okay? More of it. Don't stop here. You're just getting started. The Four of Wands. What makes you happy? What brings that peace and joy and harmony into your heart and soul? You've been manifesting it. It's coming. That structure in your life. That stability. That security. Laying that solid foundation. The Two of Cups. This is why it's coming. Again, we have devotion coming up here. The Two of Cups is that commitment that you put towards what you're, what you're working on here. Whether it's moon magic, rituals, you know, really praying, co-creating, manifesting your reality. It's your intentions that you've been communicating that's bringing all of this in. This is you, my becoming one with your higher self, okay? This is you really tuned in to what a divine, unique person you are. For some of you, this is that romance as well. For our others of you, this is business partnerships you've been manifesting. Amazing energy I'm feeling here, Scorpio. Amazing. Wow. This is your season. This is your season. You are so spiritually protected and powerful at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you. What extra messages do you have for Scorpio? Yes, I'm excited for you. I can feel it. Thank you, Spirit. We have it. Dearest you, we bet you must be so exhausted some days, giving as much as you do, sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good, can leave you feeling depleted, like an empty well. If it feels if, there, if there's no more water for you, the good news is we have a plan. Today, go take a relaxing bath, book a massage, read a novel, buy yourself flowers, or plant some in your garden. Make time for self-care, not more work on yourself. By tending to yourself now, you are reminded to do so more often. And be sure to use a word that might have caused you anxiety in the past, but is essential for your well-being now. No. Say it with us. No, thank you. No, I can't. You do not have to explain. Just say no. Gently but firmly, then go for a soak. Life will wait for you to bring yourself back to center, replenished, and ready for more adventure. We love you so very much. How beautiful is that? Um, for some of you, definitely, um, it takes a lot of energy to be a manifester, a co-creator. Make sure you are refilling your cup, okay? Make sure you're checking in with Scorpio. All right. All right, Scorpio. This was amazing. I love you guys. Uh, I wish you all a happy birthday. This is your season. Allow yourself to shine. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Scorpio.